Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Interview with Ashot Melkunyan, director of the Institute of History of National Academy Sciences of Armenia. Russian servicemen continue the mining activities in Nagorno-Karabakh. UN stands ready to respond to humanitarian needs in Nagorno-Karabakh. Reuters disagreements between Turkey and Russia. Office for Spiritual and Cultural Heritage of Artsakh to operate in the mother scene. A liturgy in memory of the the victims of Artsakh war was served at St. Nicholas Church in Rome. During the interview on Western Armenia TV, Ashot Melkonyan, director of Institute of History of the National Academy of Sciences, spoke about the processes leading to the 100th anniversary of Woodrow Wilson's arbitral award, the importance of deepening Armenian-Iranian relations, the agreement concerning Gars, as well as the differences and similarities between falling of Gars and Shushi fortified cities. He also referred to the authorities which is presented in the video. The interview is available on our official YouTube channel. Russian servicemen of the engineering units continue the mining operations in the territory of Nagorno-Karabakh, which are under the responsibility of the Russian peacekeepers, the Russian Defense Ministry reports. The Russian engineering units carry out the mining operations in the areas located between the positions of the peacekeepers, as well as in the roads of common use. They also conduct these operations near the settlements and social infrastructures. The ammunition and explosive devices found are being transferred to the military range where they are being eliminated by blasting. The ammunition which cannot be transferred to a military range is eliminated on the spot, at the same time ensuring the security. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has confirmed that relevant UN agencies are ready to cooperate with Russia in Nagorno-Karabakh to undertake humanitarian assessment on the ground. The UN Secretary General has made clear publicly, we hope that the cessation of hostilities will enable humanitarian actors to have the necessary access to all people in need in the areas affected by the conflict, including people displaced by the conflict. UN Secretary General spokesperson Stephanie Dujaric said during a press briefing. Disagreements arose between Turkey and Russia over the deployment of peacekeepers in Nagorno-Karabakh. Russian and Turkish officials will agree on the parameters of the monitoring mechanism, but Turkey also wants its independent observation post to boost its influence in a region, Reuters reported citing a source. The biggest difference of opinion right now is the observation post Turkey will establish on Azerbaijan's lands, the Turkish source said. Russia thinks it is unnecessary for Turkey to establish an observation post in the region independent of the joint center. However, this is necessary for Turkey. Talks in this regard will continue in Moscow and Turkey is counting on the compromise solution, the source said. Under the patriarchal direction of His Holiness Garagin II, Supreme Patriarch and Catholicus of all Armenians, an office for the spiritual and cultural heritage of Artsakh was established in the Mother Sea of Holy Ejmiadzin. This was reported by the Information Service of Mother Sea. Garagin Hambar a member of the Mother Sea, has been appointed head of the office. The first snow fell on Mount Namrud in Western Armenia, which is considered as the eighth wonder of the world. Mount Namrud, included in the UNESCO World Heritage List, is located at an altitude of 2,206 meters above sea level. This beautiful symbolic mountain is covered with white due to the first snowfall. The huge sculptures on the top are completely in white. Tourists visiting Namrud were surprised by the snow. After the snowfall, the peak was covered with thick fog and the air temperature dropped below zero at night. On November 22, St. Nicholas Church in Rome hosted a liturgy dedicated to the memory of the heroes killed in the Artsakh War. With the participation of the representatives of the Armenian community, a requiem service and candle lighting for the enlightenment souls of the Armenian martyrs were performed near the Khachikar in the schoolyard. Republic of Armenia ambassador to the Holy See, Karen Nazarian, Armenian Catholic sisters and many Roman compatriots were present at the ceremony. Now let us represent your attention a song by Veredarts Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.